Hey guys. No. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a look. Um, I wore this on Christmas. Oh my god, I got a new camera. Look at how pretty I look. <laughs> I love it so much. Hello. Okay, sorry. Um, so I'm going to be doing this look here. It's a copper, um, it's like a rust colored smoky eye almost. Um, I wore it on Christmas and I really liked the way it made my eyes kind of pop because I have hazel, so it made the blue in my eyes pop. Um, and so yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys. I cannot get enough of this freaking camera. How do people even like not have a camera and do this kind of shit? There's no music going on in the background, so that's weird. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put on a um, eyelid primer. I'm gonna use the Morphe. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way, so just do a little. Now I'm gonna use a Morphe. It's a loose brush, loose brush. So I'm gonna use my Morphe brush. It, so I'm gonna use my Morphe brush. It's got loose bristle. Oh my God, I cannot <laughs> say bristles. <laughs> so now I'm going to use my Morphe brush. It has loose bristles. And I'm actually gonna go back to this Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm like obsessed with it. It's every color you'd ever need. Um, and I'm gonna start with a transition color. So I'm actually gonna start right here. And I'm just gonna go in and put that right on my crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this color right here, it's a little bit darker, and I'm gonna put that on the crease as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this brush here. Let me see if I can get it to focus. It's a little bit more dense. It's Morphe as well. And I'm gonna do this dark cranberry rust color. And I'm just gonna put some pigment on my brush and then instead of doing circles or swipes I'm just going to apply it by dabbing and I'm gonna put that on my lid like I said we're going for like a smoky eye look okay so it's gonna kind of look a little crazy don't worry all come together okay so you're gonna do the same on the other side So I'm going to use this dark um, loose bristled brush. This is also by Morphe. Um, I use a darker one for darker colors and also to blend. And I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to kind of put that right in the corner. Take my wet wipe. Clean up the corners there. So here I'm just doing a little bit more blending. Blending is everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this more fine pointed brush and I'm going to use this to highlight my brows and my inner corner and I'm gonna use this shade right here. It has been my go-to lately, I love this shade. And then I'm just gonna to wanna to put that right here in the corner. And then up on the brow line. And I kind of brought it a little bit down when I wore this look. And then when I blended it, it all kind of felt together a little bit better. So now I'm gonna go underneath my lash line and I'm gonna use that cranberry color. I'm just gonna use a tad bit. Up, get that pigment out of my brush and I am going to go back underneath with that crease color that we used the rust orange I'm gonna go underneath that darker color I'm gonna take a loose brush again and I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna blend I'm 
just adding a little bit more of that brow highlight here. Brows. I'm going to use my Anastasia taupe. Just going to go underneath the brow. Line the bottom of the brow. Bring it to a point. Then go back through and line the top of the brow. Bring that to a point. And then you'll see there's like some space here. You just kind of want to, I don't really want to color it in so it's completely dark. Take the blender part of your brow brush and you just want to blend literally just the tip. And honestly, I always take just a little bit of hairspray and then you can kind of keep those brows right in place. You can do this at the end, which is what I normally do, so that way you get any of the foundation that you're going to put on off and all that so i'm just going to use my can today it's unstoppable by maybelline okay so now i'm going to apply face makeup so i have already prepped i've already primed um i might actually put a little bit more moisturizer underneath my eyes uh, my book go-to is bio elements really rich moisture i don't know if you can see that i've used it for years but since i've wiped so many times with a face wipe to get that eyeshadow off my face i'm gonna put some more okay i'm gonna use my tart kabuki with my mac studio tech i'm just going to play So I'm going to use my Anastasia, the wet contour. I'm going to go with this color right here and I'm going to use... So now I'm going to use my little spoon brush, I guess that's what it's called. I'm just going to go through. Okay, so I'm going to use this Tarte Amazonian, what is it called? The Smooth Operator. I'm going to use that to kind of set this in, fill in my wrinkles, which I definitely have a lot of. So now, let's move on. I'm going to use my Smashbox Contour Kit for my low light. I'm going to go with the center one right here. I like it a lot. I use it all the time lately. It's got some warm tones. I'm going to use my Ingold Morphe brush. And I'm just going to go right out of my cheekbone.
around my perimeter of my hairline. I'm gonna banish that double chin. I'm gonna take this flat head brush right here. This is also by Morphe. If you can see it. And I'm going to contour my nose with this guy. I just wanna go right bridge your nose. I mean on the side of the bridge of your nose. Not on it. Okay, so let's blend all that out. A little bit of that dark low light and put it right at the tip of your nose. Alright, I'm gonna blend out. Stop setting powder now. Once I have all my face makeup on, besides a good highlight and blush. I'm going to do my mascara and I got this little sample of Last Domination by Bare Minerals. I'm going to give it a whirl. So let's see here. Ooh. This is the brush. Alright, I'll be honest with you. I like it. I don't love it. So I'm going to go over it with the, my L'Oreal Voluminous. hydrogel cream balm. I believe it's for your lips, but I put it on my cheeks and I love it, so I'm gonna do that again. So I just used like this big poofy brush. I think this one is actually just eco, so you can get it from Target. And I dabbed it on there. I want to get like a decent amount of product. And I'm gonna put that on my cheeks here. All right, so now I'm gonna do a highlighter. I'm gonna use this Smashbox um, contour kit again. And I'm gonna go with this top left. It's very goldy. And I just wanna do it just a little bit. Perfect. And then just a little on the tip of my nose here. kind of blend that all together a little bit. Okay, now for my lips, um, I did something weird, but it worked out really well. So I have these two Maybelline, uh, they're called Super Stain Matte Ink. I love them. If you love stains and you don't have any of these, go get some. I have like eight. Um, so I use these two colors right here. They're called Fighter and Seductress. So Fighter I kind of use as a liner. Um, it's dark brown, so I kind of just... really weird <laughs> so then I take the seductress and then I fill it in I kind of want to wait for it to dry a little bit 
because I don't really want this product to go all over. cleaning up the inside of my lip okay so now I'm going to take that seductress and I'm going to fill on the rest of my lips okay didn't that turn out so pretty Alright, this is the makeup I want Christmas and it has nothing to do with Christmas, so you could really wear it anytime. And the toilet paper was in my hair so I don't get creases because I already did my hair, so. Okay guys, this is the final look. I think it turned out really pretty. If you have any questions, concerns, let me know. I need to set my face. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Really set that in place. And we're done. What do you think? I don't know why I talk to you guys like that. Like you can answer. Um, I really like the copper on my eyes. It makes my blue pop out of my hazel. Oh my God. I'm so obsessed with this camera. You get enough. I feel like a freaking supermodel. I'm far from it, but. Light all day, donkey. All right, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want to see anything different, I would love to do it. Anything, really. Thanks for tuning in. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying watching these videos. Um, and I will see you in a couple days.